Hello everyone. I'm here today with a new process video. I'm doing a six by eight pocket page and these are photos from my time in Vienna. This was our hotel. This was our favorite hotel we stayed in on that trip. So I want to make sure that I feature it here and we had something interesting happen. So I want to make sure that I also have a good journal card, which I've already picked out. And I love that it says a different perspective because what happened is when we came to check in, um, I believe it was about 1030 in the morning ish. So we knew we were early. We knew the possibility of getting an early check in wasn't great. So we walk up, we ask if we can just leave our bags. Is it possible to get an early check in? And the woman said, sure, if you pay 10 euro. I looked at my friend and I'm like, yeah, we're going to pay 10 euro. <laughs> That's totally worth it to be able to get into a room early and put our stuff away right away. We get the key, we go up there. The room is dirty. <laughs> uh, they didn't give us the right room. So we take everything back downstairs, explain what happened. And she says, oh my goodness, you know, I'm so sorry. Somebody must have marked it off and they shouldn't have. We're going to upgrade you to a room that has a balcony then. So for my 10 euro, <laughs> I got this room, which was much nicer and had a balcony off the back. So we each went out there and had our photo taken to show how lovely our balcony was for our room. And we did use it while we were there. So I want to include all that. I have picked out this paper to be the background because I think it works well with this, with the colors in my shirt, with the colors of the building, but I'm not totally sold on it. If I found something better, I would do it. And then this one, I had just put in a white piece of cardstock because I didn't know what else to do with it. I want to use both of these, but I have an odd size here and there's a lot of white in it. So I don't know that a white background is necessarily the greatest thing. So I am going to look to see if I can find something else that might work with that. I do want to show something quickly. When I made the big decision that I wasn't going to do 12 by 12 anymore, unless it's an album for somebody else, not for myself. When I made that decision, I decided to cut down all the paper that I had, the pattern paper, and make it six by 12 because that way if I'm doing a six by eight page, I've got pretty close sizing. I can use the rest for something else. Or now that I have the possibility of doing six by 12 pages, I have something that's already cut to the correct size. So I just store these by color. So I start with red on this side, I go and order the rainbow and I have it in here. So I will be going through here to find some paper that might replace what I had picked out already. I'm going to put this back. This was actually a pad of paper I got from a friend that's already 6 by 12. So I just have to rip everything out of there and put it away properly. When I went into the browns, I have those pulled out here, I found this paper. And I'm thinking that might be okay because look how well it matches with this building. And it gives some visual interest in the background, but it's not horribly distracting. So I think I'm going to replace this white and I will cut a 4 by 6 out of this piece instead. So after I cut the paper, I noticed that over here there's a little check mark in one of the circles and I want to use that. I think that works because it's like, check, yep, we found a great hotel. We're happy with it. We like where we're situated. And by the way, you can kind of see right here is the edge of the train station. We were literally a block from the train station, which was perfect for us because we were coming into Vienna by train and going out by train. I adhered the photos to this one since I like that and I'm happy with my choice here. Now I didn't find a better brown for this one so I guess this is what I'm going with. I don't love it but it's the best thing I have I think because it matches so well so I will do it. I just have to figure out obviously there's going to be a flip here. Whoops a photo flip. So this will be on top. It'll fold out. Then I'll have this one. I will probably place the photo of my friend on the left so that when they're open it's not right up to these two and then it's like boom, 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 right in a row. So I'll probably place it over here, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do over here. I'm gonna have to search for some, some fun stuff in my stash cause I really have no idea. I have found two things so far that I think I might wanna use. For this card, I pulled out all of my travel ephemera stuff, die cuts, what have you, and I found this one and I like it because it's got some of the paler blue that's in here, but it also has green, which I have green in there. It has a little bit of the kind of goldish color, which I have in my shirt. And you know, right here is a slight bit of maybe orangey tone works here. So I think I'm going to use that one. That may be all I do on this, but I did 
purposely leave room over here that I could put washi on there if I wanted to. So I have that. And then I found this. This is just a little pennant or flag, if you will, whatever you want to call it. That's from a new travel release from Allie Edwards. And I love that it's got a copper foil on it. I think that color goes really well with the tones that I have here. And there's room for me to stamp on it. What I would stamp there, I don't know. I know I have several things that talk about check-in and hotel life and whatever. So I'll have to see if any of them are small enough to fit here. Otherwise, I'll come up with something else. For the piece that's going to go over here, I've decided to use pop dots. I just think it will give it a nice little bit of dimension when everything else is pretty flat. I don't want to add too much bulk to this album because I have a lot of layouts that are going to go in here. And I've already decided I was really trying to get Salzburg and Vienna in one album so that all of Austria was together. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I have way too many layouts for that. So Vienna is going to be its own album. So I do have a little bit more room to play with in terms of adding some 3D elements. So I'm choosing to do it here. So, all right, there we go. So I just used three pop dots. And I'm wondering if I should overlap it a little because it's just a reflection. I actually could almost cover her all up and put it over here. Maybe I will because then I could fit something over there. I could still stamp or add something else if I want. Yeah, I like that. All right. I'm going to keep that and then still keep working on the other things. I decided to pull out all of my phrases because I knew I had some kind of coral colored ones that would match well with this. I found this one that says right now. I haven't adhered it yet. I just have it tucked under there so I can see what it looks like. I like it because it's a similar shape, but then I want to find a third thing that can go in here that isn't this shape. So I'm thinking either just a long phrase that I can put in there in a different color, maybe green to bring in some of that, or a circular element. I'm not sure, but I need something else there, I think. Haha, -ha, I went into some totally different stuff. I have a bunch of flair and I knew I had something related to hotel. I couldn't remember what it was. I have this, which, you know, obviously it shows, it looks as if you're hailing a cab because it's got a suitcase in it, but I love it that it's a hand raised too. Cause it could be like, yes, we got our room and the suitcase kind of adds to that and it's black, which works for that. But then I also have this one, which would fit perfectly, but it's more appropriate maybe for this side because here she's not like laying down or anything. So I'm not sure which of these I'm going to use. I do have hotel photos from Prague coming up that I haven't done. And this might work really well with that instead of this. So I may hold on to that one. I decided to stay with this one and I adhered to everything and I love the way it looks. And since I had already done the pop dots here, it really didn't add any bulk to have both of these, so why not? That's what I'm saying. So that one may be done. If anything, I may add a little bit of washi here that has maybe like a black and white pattern or black and some other color pattern. That's probably the only other thing I will do there. I don't want it to be too busy. And then I have this already. I just need to adhere it and stamp. This is fine. I do have dead space up here, so I might see if I can add something, but if I do, it needs to come from this side over because I've already got something on the left hand side. And then I'm still undecided. Do I want to add something here or not? I do have dead space here as well. Maybe I could do something with it. I've picked out what I'm going to stamp on here. I have this stamp set. It's from Kelly Perky. It's an older one. It's several years old. I don't remember what it's called, uh, but it's great for travel stuff. So I don't know if it's available anywhere. It says Hero Arts on it. So it was when she was still working with them. So if you could find it, maybe eBay, I don't know, but I'm going to use this stamp right here that says relaxation. It's kind of hard to, to see that in this light. And speaking of light, I have to say, I just ordered a stand up circular LED light that I'm hoping will help the lighting in here because I have this table, which is kind of a tan surface, faux wood grain <laughs> surface. And it doesn't show up very well, even with all the lighting I have. So I'm going to try that LED light and hope that it works. So stay tuned for that. So I wanted to see how this would look the way it's actually going to be in the album. And so this will be on top. It's going to fold out and you won't see the back part. So really when you're looking at it like this, 
I definitely need something up here and I can leave this alone. And I kind of like how you can see through the little entry part there that there's a cutout. It's kind of fun. So I'm going to leave that. And I found this in my handy dandy stash of phrase labels over there. Pack, go, repeat. And I think that the color works with that as well. And so I'm going to do it right along the top there. I may cut this down so it actually doesn't go edge to edge. And then I can put a mini staple in there too. Okay, I have loaded everything up here the way I want it. I've got my flip ready, so I'm just going to take off the adhesive here. And then I will position it where I want it over the other one so that I can get as close a match as possible. End to end here. They don't always match here perfectly. Depends on what brand you're using. There are multiple companies that make the page protectors, obviously, but then the flips as well. So you just have to kind of match them up as best you can. And there we go. And I think this one is done. So let's look here. Here's what you'll see. And I'll do my journaling off camera, but here's what you'll see regularly in the album. And then you'll flip. And there you go. You know what? I'm thinking maybe I do need something else right up here. Maybe just an enamel dot or a star or something. So hang on. I do have these foam glitter stars in my stash, so I'm going to take out one of the smallest here and just go, there's not really enough room up top, or is there? Nope. So maybe just like, ah, like that. Yeah. And then it just gives it a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of dimension on this as well. We'll put it in the pocket. And let's see what I think. Yeah, that was enough. So this one is done. Thanks for watching, everyone.